only seven star hotel in the world. The design of the megastructure is symbolic to Dubai, like the opera houses to Sydney and Big Ben to London. The shape of the bird resembles the sail of an old traditional wooden Arabian Dow ship, proudly standing on its own island in the center of the coastline. Only from the sea you can see Burgess' newest addition seamlessly overhanging the sea, the 10,000 square feet terrace. The terrace was built in Finland and transported by sea. It stretches 100 meters out into the Gulf and adds to the already luxurious hotel two swimming pools and its very private beach. The horizontal structure on the top is the Sky Bar and Restaurant. If you plan a visit, be prepared. A cocktail will set you back around $50. Perched 210 meters on top of the hotel is a helipad, which has been center stage for some interesting promotional stunts over the years. Some of you may have seen David Coulthard doing donuts in a Formula One car, Andre Gatti and Roger Federer playing a game of tennis, Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy hitting golf balls off the top, world heavyweight boxing champion Anthony Joshua boxing, and the 33,000 pounds that you could even get married on it. Inside the bird, you will find the world's tallest and very colourful atrium, standing 180 metres high, complete with its beautiful waterfalls, fountains and an aquarium. The Burj Hotel doesn't do rooms, you will only find 202 two-storey suites, each with its own butler and boasts the best views across the Arabian Sea. A night at the Burj Al Arab will set you back $1,500 and some change. Thank <laughs> you.